gorgeous. Please, I just came from the gym. I did four miles on the treadmill. Which says all the more for your natural beauty. Jay, what do you want? I wanted to see you. I have a couple things that I want to say. Huh? Uh-uh. You're absolutely right. Uh-uh. Okay, I'm all out. Unless you want to see something in a ten and a half loafer. Jay, you know what I want? I want you to tell me what you felt comfortable telling two million people in that paper. What, that you floss in my house? I'm out of here. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jay, 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 big news. Oh, uh, Claire, this is a... Uh, oh, the girlfriend with the toothbrush? I have a name. Uh, I know, I know, it's Melissa. Anyway, um, I hope you're getting good stuff here because we've got a column tomorrow and we are going national. What? Yeah, that's right, baby, 200 papers nationwide. Well, that is great. <laughs> no, it's not that great. Uh, I'll just leave you two, but I'll leave this with you because we're gonna need copy. Hey, Jay, you know, I got a great headline for you. It's me or the paper. Your choice, Jay. Oh, Melissa, Melissa. This is Lisa Cromwell, and I am live here on the streets of Chicago talking today to the examiners Claire Logan and Jay Frazier. Now, what makes their columns so popular is that these two agree on absolutely nothing. Isn't that right? Yes. No. <laughs> See what I mean? All right, let's start with a very hot topic. Should a woman go home with a man after their first date? Absolutely not. I agree. Okay, well, um, maybe we can try uh, another question. Should a man take the male birth control pill? Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so maybe these two aren't exactly oil and water. No, 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 we are. We, are. we, we definitely are. Um, you know, for instance, Jay here believes that men are defined by what they do, while women are defined by who they're with. Allow me to clarify my position on that matter. This should be good. Most men are insecure, and they go for their power through their jobs. Whereas most women, on the other hand, are more emotionally secure and in touch with their feelings, thus allowing women to find fulfillment in love, which ultimately is a whole lot more satisfying. Look, Sherry, I'm defined by my love for you. I think I'm becoming a chick. Then maybe you can take my last name. <laughs> Don't push it. Oh, I love you. So, um, ultimately, love is more satisfying. Mm -hmm. well, Claire, do you agree? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so do I. So we all agree. This is Lisa Cromwell. Back to you. This is by far the worst interview ever. Thank you. Cool. Do you realize what you just threw away? Yeah. But what I'm getting back is a whole lot more rewarding. Jay, did you really mean what you said? Absolutely. Except for that birth control part. That's it. <laughs> Come on, we need to talk. Still in trouble. Jay, I want to talk about those words you were throwing around today. Uh, look, Melissa, I am out of words, I'm out of theories, and I'm out of the newspaper business. In fact, I'm not even reading the newspaper anymore. Okay? Mm -hmm. I do, however, have this. <gasps> oh, Jay! Don't get too excited, baby. No. It's a key. I told you not to get too excited. It's the key to my apartment. Thanks. And to my heart. Oh, Jay, that's sweet. And before I forget, I love you and I admire the way you floss. <laughs> now your turn. I like the way you floss. And? Oh, okay. I love the way you floss. <laughs> that's as good as it's gonna get, isn't it? Pretty much. 